how are we doing? Good to see you again. Thank you for tuning into Project Air this week. I am currently very excited because I've got a new plane in the back. It's called the EDF Glider. I'm just very happy to be making another video and uh, going flying. I finished my articles for the day, got the new plane, and uh, I'm a little bit late, so yeah, that's not so ideal, but I have three main tasks for this plane to do. One of them is to test just the configuration of the aircraft, because really, you don't see a lot of uh, planes that look like this. They don't have the jet engine on top of the fuselage, or on top of the wing. So I want to experiment with that, and see if there's a reason. Uh, second of all, what is the second one? The second thing I want to experiment with this plane is uh, it's a different wing tip type. So um, on this one aircraft that looks very similar to this, the Pinecall 162, that aircraft had a, uh, a weird sort of drooping wing tips that are called, uh, I can't remember what they're called, something like Lippish, Lippish something or other. Yeah, basically I, I want to test different wing tip types and see if that makes a difference. And then the third thing I want to do is put a camera on the plane and go pretty much as fast as I can. Yeah, hopefully some FPV action like that at the end of the video, you'll stick around for that and uh, click the like button. So anyway, I'm here now, so yeah, let's go and test this plane. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're already running away. <laughs> Inside here we have the battery hatch. This takes a four cell battery attached to here and that powers this 70 millimeter EDF. So I think this thing runs for about about seven minutes or eight minutes on this setup. Uh, it's got a 2200 milliamp hour battery. And then yeah, we've just got some very simple nine gram servos at the back. I also just put this really nice sort of metallic paint on it just to make it look a bit better for the video uh, instead of just plain brown. And yeah, I'd say that it looks quite nice. So let's get it in the sky and see how it performs on one of its first flights. I think it wants to go. <laughs> Got the sheep's attention. <laughs> let's see how it does on a low pass. That's the sort of glide slope we're looking at. Uh, actually, yeah, I can do a little bit better than that. So yeah, still gliding now, let's put some power on. That's just a quarter throttle, so I can cruise around like that all day. It seems like the tail's got a lot of wash coming over it because of the EDF. So that's got loads of, uh, you can have that on low rates, but the ailerons need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more travel on them. <laughs> Let's see how knife edges do. I've not tested knife -edge edges yet, so I'd be interested to see. Not bad. I was sort of coming towards the house there, so I bailed out. <laughs> Bit of throttle on. Oh, a bit hard there. A little bit hard, but yeah, that was that was pretty nice. Let's go and see if there's any damage. Probably not, but yeah, always worth a check. As usual, jumping over a fence. There are no sheep around now, so <laughs> we definitely should scared all of them away. Narrowly missed some poo, which is always good. Let's see. The EDF seems it's not even warm, really. The motor. Um, let's see about the battery. So we did fly for a little bit longer than I was expecting. Yeah, that's pretty warm actually. That was about six minutes, maybe seven minutes and going sort of intermittently between full throttle and just sort of cruising around at a quarter or so throttle. You could definitely fly it for a lot longer if you just cruised around. So yeah, happy with that. All right then, let's go back to the studio. Let's see if we can switch the wingtips up and try something else. See if that has any effect. Right.
round two. Uh, we're off to go and fly this plane again, and I've, as you just saw, I've changed the wingtips design now so they droop downwards. I was thinking actually, it's really not on airplanes that I've seen this before. I, I was trying to find pictures of planes that look like this, but I've actually seen them on seagulls and things like that before where the wingtips droop down. So that must have been where I actually got my inspiration from in the beginning. But anyway, we're here to uh, pick up a friend of mine who's going to help with filming and all of that. His name's Mike and yeah, we're going to see uh, what happens. Yo! Hey. Got camera. Where are we going? Oh, we're flying that plane. That okay, plane. nice yeah. one. <laughs> Looks suspicious. I'm not too sure about this one, whether it will actually work as well as it did. I think I might have made it worse, but we'll have to see. Just going to throw it that way. So yeah, it feels pretty nice at the moment. It rolls a lot faster, which is what I wanted. The plane with the camera. Yep. <laughs> the plane. All right. Ah, emergency landing. We're running out of battery. Ready? Coming in. Ah, that wasn't bad. That was a bit intense. <laughs> Came quite close to us a few times there. But no, that was all right. Exciting. Yeah. And we've still got one battery left, so we can do some more flying. Nice. It's a little bit, a little bit cooked. It's not too bad, but it's... Uh, yeah, it should, nice and warm. It should use it as a hand warmer. Yeah, it, it shouldn't really be that warm. So for this flight, I'm going to try some uh, spins and... What else should we do? This one? Like a loop loop. So we're going to try spin. It was actually quite, quite yeah, impressive. That was good. It was really easy to recover from that as well. So these wingtips really aren't affecting those kind of aerodynamics. It sounds so good. I forget. <laughs> From that flight, we'll take away that uh, the these really don't uh, affect the characteristics negatively. The next thing to do really is to go back to the the workshop and stick a camera on this plane, and then we'll go and fly it uh, with a camera. This is a, an old GoPro. It's a GoPro three, and then there's a very simple little. Uh, I think it's a 25 milliwatt um, FPV micro cam here um, and then I've got that all wired up through here to the receiver and this just plugs into a normal uh, receiver lead and that goes straight into the receiver to power it and then of course we've got our battery lead there it's very simple and hopefully this camera isn't going to disturb the air too much as it's going into the EDF here so we might go a little bit slower than before but I'm not sure Sheep, you better watch out Okay, so good news is that the, sun, the uh, wind is coming from behind, uh, from in front of us. So now I'm in uh, FPV. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is awesome. You know, it's not even feeling the wind too much. Gonna bank over these sheep over here. Back around the field. And over here. This is really fun. <laughs> right over the top. Almost 
hit those trees at the end there. <laughs> I'm running out of battery. Oh, landing FPV coming in. Ready. Oh, there's a fence. Oh, there we go. Right at the bottom of the field. <laughs> We're going to have to go for a bit of a walk, I'm afraid. Oh, that was so much fun, even though the wind is really bad. It was just like, just going so fast and low. It was brilliant. Well, looks okay to me. Let's see if the... Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't kick your planes, people. Oh, it looks like it's still recording. Hooray! It's got a bit of water on it, but it's okay. So yeah, the plane worked. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. This is uh, a success story for once. First of all, the, uh, the configuration worked absolutely perfectly fine. And second of all, the wingtips, they didn't affect the characteristics negatively either. So that was good. And then thirdly, the camera was absolutely that was just an absolute blast yeah and also um, thank you very much to everyone who subscribed recently uh, we've had a lot of new people come on board uh, since I did the project with Tom Stanton recently if you're not on board yet then just click the subscribe button and you'll get more videos like this every two weeks or so so if you did like this project then please remember to give this video a like and comment below on what projects I should be doing next and also you just sort of like advice for like how to make this better um, also, I'm, I'm thinking about making a seaplane out of this thing, so drop a comment if you think I should do that. And also, big thanks to the sponsors who sent me this EDF unit. There's a link to this EDF unit in the description. You can get it from their website. And uh, yeah, that would be, uh, be good. You can support me doing that as well by buying the same thing. So anyway, thanks very much for watching this video, and I will catch you next time.